Hi, my name is Diane Jamula. I'm an associate teaching professor in the Department of Physics, and I'm also the undergraduate program coordinator in physics, so I advise all of our physics majors. My PhD is in science education from Columbia University, and I looked at how to teach physics to reach a wider range of students and on a deeper level. Students learn physics best when they're actively engaged versus sitting passively listening to a lecture. And so we teach the introductory physics courses using active learning, where students learn physics by actually doing physics. So they observe a phenomenon, they try to explain what they observed, they then test these explanations in testing experiments, and if their outcome matches their prediction, then we work with that idea we can then apply it to new situations or to problem solving. And students do all this knowledge development in groups. They work together and with equipment when they're in the physics lab. When they are in our lecture, which we call large group meeting, we ask them to turn and talk to their neighbors and to play with ideas during class. So students are actually learning in class as opposed to going home and having to teach themselves later. Students are empowered in building their physics knowledge and that they use that in whatever field that they go into. Whether you go on into policy or finance or you become a doctor or a lawyer, the same idea about how knowledge is constructed applies in how we use evidence to build ideas. And so we really want to uh, empower students as constructors of their own knowledge. And that's really more important than the physics concepts, which they may or may not see again. I love working with the students at Rutgers Newark. I think the students here have a really incredible potential. I hear students' stories about immigrating to the United States and translating government documents for their parents or being the translator for their parents at the doctor's office or coming to this country and not speaking English or growing up in, in Newark in whatever circumstances there were of taking care of their siblings. But the students at Rutgers in Newark overall are very resilient. They're really experienced. They're really wise. And so I think that if we provide them an excellent physics education, they can achieve what they want to achieve and be the next leaders of our world.